barbershop conversation, man, feel free to hit the subscribe button. Share, 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 share. So I've been doing some heavy thinking, like like life changing thinking. <laughs> hey, you know what? The Take Davis Lamont Roach fight. Lamont Roach got favor from the WBA to move up and not lose his belt. Meanwhile, um, Jamel Charlo was the undisputed champion. And he had to give up his belts the moment round one said, Ding! What's the difference? What's the difference between me and you? <laughs> Jamel Charlo, you got played, man. I, I was the only one telling you not to take the fight. You would have still been undisputed, fighting mandatory. You probably would have been a road warrior, right? Because obviously there's no money. Because I, I presume that the Charlos will be on the undercard of Tank Davis. How disgusting is that? Two former world champions that didn't lose their belts in the ring are now undercards in their home city and state. Disgusting. This, this, as Blue Blood say, disgusting behavior. <laughs> Hey man, you know what I mean? So uh uh Oh you say that's oh no Booba say that's nasty work. That's what he said. Yeah, nasty work. <laughs> how are you how did you lose your belts on your day off and now you gotta and now you gotta instead of you being the contractor, you're the plumber. <laughs> you're the you're the day labor now. You know what I mean? You getting a day's wages, man. That is disgusting. The Charlo brothers simply got played. I warned you. I was the hater. I was crazy. It doesn't exclude y'all immature behavior outside the ring because that's a part of it too. Because if you lack immaturity behavior outside the ring, how you going to do business in and out of the ring? You know what I mean? But y'all got played. I told you not to take the Charlo fight. Oh, he getting 7 million. Let's say he got 10 million for the fight. He's the best 154 pounder in the world at that time. Nobody can beat him. Nobody at 154 was going to beat Jamel Charles. No matter how much you rooted against him, rooted for him. And guess what? He could have had the biggest. He could have sold out Cowboy Stadium. Earl Spence versus Jamel Charlo. And everybody would have been happy. But y'all did some things that didn't align with barbershop conversations. Y'all just need not to listen to nobody else but me. If you're listening to somebody else, let's see who I was right about. Um, oh man, the, the list is it's too many. It's, I, I'm I just off the top of my head, it's too many. You know what I mean? So, anyways, um, Jamel, congratulations, you played yourself. Ain't that what Ebro say? Congratulations, you played yourself. And uh, you didn't take barbershop conversations advice because I'm crazy. You know, all I am is a hater. And 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 now I'm about to start getting on this hater term. An opinion is not hating. An opinion, hating is literally obstructing. Literally, you know, your goal is to obstruct. That's hating. This isn't hating. Y'all don't even know what hating is. I, I've come to the realization is that I'm not obstructing anything. I'm speaking on what I see. Speaking on what you see is not hating. Y'all just don't know what hating. Is. Anyways, I, I I just had a revelation. You know, I've been doing some deep thinking. You know, I, I you know, y'all go ahead and have a great day. Peace.